Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about the massive week coming up in the stock market. There's some big names reporting earnings and I'm sure you own some of these names and I own some of these names as well so we'll talk about some of them in the week ahead. This week and next week are still the two big weeks coming up um, so yeah there's, there'll be a lot of moves and more than likely it's kind of just to look out for which are actually going to report good earnings because it doesn't really matter if they do report good earnings uh, you know the stocks are just going to move down like they pretty much have done the last two weeks but just from a like holding point of view we still want to see them with some good earnings even if the stock doesn't even move in the right direction but yeah if you do want to join the patreon when i'm buying and selling companies as you can see here this is a list of you can see i've been buying a few companies recently um so that's when i post where i'm buying and selling and also we did this video here which is talking about valuation so if you do want to join link is in the description and we are near to uh sorry 10,000 subscribers we're about 150 short as recording this video so yeah if you are not subscribed yet and watching this hit that red subscribe button and uh, you guys are here all the time, you guys smash the like button. 10,000 subscribers would mean a lot to me. Uh, you know, I've been doing YouTube uh, for like four or five years now, so to get to 10,000 subscribers would be a big milestone for me. Um, something that I never thought I would achieve, uh, but if we could get there, yeah, it would mean a lot. So uh, yeah, if we could do that this week, it'd be absolutely amazing. But we'll get stuck into some of the companies that report on earnings this week. So yeah, um, quite a busy one. Um, first of all, Monday, some names that I'm looking out for, most of my important days come a little bit later in the week, but yeah, Monday on the open workhorse, obviously we all kind of know workhorse, um, they've had a lot of trouble from since they've lost the United States Postal Service, Service contract, um, I mean people, I think the only bull case that people have right now uh, around this company is that um, Cafe Woods is still buying the shares and it's like okay, if that's the biggest bull case that someone's buying a share about uh, buying the shares of that company. There's something a little bit wrong here. So um, yeah, um, we'll see what happens there with that one. They're, they're losing a lot of money, and I think that that was a big, bull, uh, a big uh, miss for them not getting that contract. So they are going to struggle, and you know, obviously the management as well. You know, and you know my thoughts on the management as well. Not not great up there, but yeah, we'll see what they do. Um, we'll see how much money they lose this time round. But yeah, uh, after the close, Virgin Galactic, I don't know if a few of you guys are pay playing this one still. I know it was a quite a popular one uh, a few months back. I don't know how many people are still in it. Uh, for me, it's just way off where I could invest into that company. Um, you know, they, they don't even have a, a an actual product really that has done all the testing yet. So it's still a bit off where I would like to invest into the company. But I definitely know it has a bit of interest out there. Roadblocks, um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting one to me. I actually haven't looked into the company since they actually went through a direct listing, but yeah. Uh, Win Resorts, I actually owned Win Resorts, I believe, twice now. So uh, this is a company I've, hold, uh, I've bought before. I'm a big fan of Win Resorts. Um, I think the first time I bought this company was in 2017. I think I sold out around 2018 or 19. Bought at like $70, sold at like $180. Uh, and then I bought in. I bought Win Results in the CV dip. I bought in like uh, March 2020, and I sold out in April 2020. I made like a. It was a pretty good return. It was something like 80% in a month, and I was like, that's just way too quick. Um, so yeah, uh, Win Results I've, I've held twice, and uh, I'm a big fan of the company. And if it ever was to go to the right prices, I, I would consider buying it once again. A firm I really like this company. Um, buy now, pay later. Um, it's still very much near the IPO for me to get involved, but it is very much on my watch list. Um, if it stays at the current prices around about um, maybe September time, you could see me actually buying this. I just the only reason why I'm not buy, probably buying a firm right now is obviously because of the IPO. But the other thing is like when I compare compare like a firm to like the likes of Tattoo Chef, the likes of DraftKings, uh, the likes of Beyond Meat. I just don't like a firm as much as them guys and that's probably one of the other reasons why I'm not buying that one just yet but you know give me six months down the line it's still the same values the other companies have gone up maybe I'm holding a few less companies it could be one on my top uh, buy list so we'll, it's definitely it's very high up on my watch list right now so that that's when I might come back to later in the year. Tuesday definitely starts to kick off a little bit. Obviously, PLTR, Pantier, that's a very popular one now with retail investors, especially on the YouTube scene. Um, I must see a suggestion video about Pantier pop up on uh, YouTube every single day. Um, it's, yeah, it's an interesting company. Um, I like it. I think it will go up in value. I think it will have a very successful future. I just personally, like I said in the video when I covered it, personally for me, the valuation was just way too much. Um, when I covered it, it was like a 44 price sales ratio at, um, right now and then even in like 2024, 20, it was like a 11 price sales ratio and that's like 
you know, still quite fair value, really, um, even if it is growing at a good rate, especially when you've got the likes of like Tattoo Chef down at like a six price to sales ratio. So um, it, the valuation was a bit of a problem for me. It has come down a little bit though since then, which is a lot better. And the other thing as well is like, it's a very hard company to get your head around. And I think that might hold it back from other investors as well. Um, and I, I generally like buying companies that I know in and out quite well and still with Palantir, like I'll never be able to try that product, I guess. So yeah, I'll watch it. I mean, if I've always said, you know, you give me Palantir, you know, below $20, I'll consider it. But even right now, once again, it's very much like an affirm. You give me the likes of Tattoo Chef at the prices it's at or Palantir. I know which one I'm going to be buying instead. So yeah, that's the only thing. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that one. Um, Jamami, I think that's how you say it. I know this is like a African e-commerce play. Um, so yeah, it's um, interesting. I think I never got into this one because I think the growth was too too slow for me to actually go buy it. Um, and I think I looked into that. I think it was last year I actually looked into that company. But it's an interesting one. I know a few people are invested into it. Um, Nano X, uh, that's one that I've seen popped up quite a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much on the Tuesday morning, I guess. Wednesday after close, Fubo TV. Um, I know if you guys are playing this one, it's definitely interesting. Uh, they're making some uh, some interesting uh, purchases with like licensing and everything at the moment. Uh, I think they do burn through a lot of money. I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked into that one, but I know a few people like that one. Unity. This one's actually really interesting. I think this is like a, a gaming company. Heard really good things about that one. Um, never properly looked into it, but um, I've heard really good things. Lemonade, um, I know a few guys play this one. Uh, for me, personally, um, I you never got to the valuation where I would be really interested in this one, but I, I feel like it has dropped recently, so maybe I'll see what happens um, in the next coming uh, few days. Uh, Sundial, I think a few guys play this one. Open Door is very interesting. Uh, that's one I will keep an eye on. Uh, Quantum Scope, this was a, a really big one as well um, a few months ago. EA Sports, a bit of a gaming company. Uh, and then on Wednesday, Wednesday on the open, there's not too many that I'm really too bothered about. Uh, but yeah, on, on the close, obviously the, the big standout one, which is Tattoo Chef. Obviously Tattoo Chef is a company that I own. It is one of my biggest positions. Um, I believe it's now my second biggest position, but it's it's in the it's in the top five at the moment. Uh, after I I bought a lot of shares after the, um, and you guys on Patreon, you guys know this, after they bought the, uh, acquired the company uh, last week, I was like, that's just such a good purchase. Um, and yeah, I bought a bit more of that one, um, quite a bit more actually. Um, so yeah, I'm quite a big fan of that purchase. We'll see exactly what happens. Um, hopefully it's good numbers. I'm not gonna say hopefully it's good numbers and it goes up because it probably brings good numbers out and it'll go down. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a very popular stock now, especially in the retail side of it, YouTube side of it. Like there's a lot of YouTube videos on it now. So I don't know, depending on earnings, I might make a video on it. I might not make a video on it. I just feel like, quite often um, by the time I always put like everything together there's like a, a million videos out and there's always there's always quite like a, a lot of like live streams like doing the earnings and all that so if there's a lot of stuff out there I might not cover it but yeah, it's quite popular in the YouTube scene now so I don't cover it too much but I still like to because it's a big investment of mine so yeah we'll see what happens you see let me know if you want a tattoo chef video um, wish um, so yeah, um, I think that was actually quite a recent IPO. Um, Thursday after close, Alibaba. Obviously, that's one that I own. Be interested to see what they do. Hopefully, that's will give it the kick on to like move back in the right direction. Xpeng. I think a few guys play that one. Uh, Billy Billy. I, I'm a big fan of Billy Billy. Um, it's not one that I would buy at the current valuations, but it's a company that I made some decent money on, and I should have probably held it a bit longer. Um, it was one of the first ever like small market cap companies that I bought literally knew no one talking about this company um this was back in like 2017 2018 so it was a while ago uh, and yeah uh, like the, the back then there was like hardly any like stock market youtube channels <laughs> so yeah the ones that were there were kind of covering a lot more bigger market cap companies and i was like i just thought i just tried my best to do my own research and go i think it looks good and i made a, a decent money but i should have held it longer i just kind of like I just kind of like panicked a little bit at the time because I was like, I've just made so much money from that. I want to take my money. Uh, but realistically, I should have probably held it because it went up even more from there. But I'm a big fan of it. It's, it's the company that I think is more relatable to Hugh Yeah and what Hugh Yeah should do coming up as well. So yeah. Um, 
Celsius, this is a uh, really interesting company. I did, I did a, um, I think I posted this on Patreon actually about this company. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one. I'm, I like it. I like where they're going with the company. I would really love to try the products at some point. It's currently not available in the UK. Um, but what they're doing at the moment looks very interesting. There's a lot of great growth there. Um, the only problem I have with Celsius is the valuation. Um, I think like at the moment it's trading like a price to sales ratio of like, I feel like it was 30 when I looked into it. Uh, um, this was like a couple of months ago, so I might not have the numbers exactly correct, but I feel like the valuation was just way too high and I was like, yeah, it's grown at a good rate and everything, but realistically, you know, pre paying up that sort of premium for like a, a, a drinks company was just... <laughs> Was just nuts so it would probably have to lose a lot of its value to come down to where i'd be actually very happy to buy it so maybe this earnings reports does it i think it had a dip off last earnings so maybe one more dip on earnings could bring it to more attractive valuations but even once again you know it would have to be a big dip because you know for the likes to go over tattoo chef beyond meat draft king shopify it would need to be at you know decent valuations if you know what i mean so yeah i will keep an eye on that one because i do think it's a great company it just needs to have the right valuations uh, for me to get interest, interested in that one uh thursday after close walt disney obviously another one i own um is back at decent prices that's the only thing um i'm sure disney plus numbers will be solid it might show a bit of slowdown now that now though is the cv side of it um the Disneyland parks were open. We might get some decent numbers out of there. But yeah, it's that's a, that's a tricky one because it is a decent valuation right now. So it probably won't move that much anyway. I think that's got a lot priced in already. Um, so yeah, I think um, Disney, I can't see that moving too much after earnings. I, I can actually only see that one probably moving down if I'm being honest. Um, Airbnb, this is an interesting one. Uh, the valuation is just way too high though for me on Air, Air, Airbnb. Uh, but I like the company. Um, if it could have a decent valuation, I could see myself buying that one. Um, Buy on no, that's once uh, once again a very popular stock. Um, but I think it's pulled back quite a bit. Um, I've seen, I saw that one talked about quite a bit a few months ago. Aurora. Uh, um, and Jivo, I think that was quite a popular one as well, uh, not so long ago. Blink, same again, uh, quite a popular one. And then pretty much on Friday, there's not really any companies I'm just interested on Friday, uh, really. So yeah, it's, it's quite a busy, it's kind of, we've, we've gone past the peak and we're starting to come down a little bit, but we're still fair in earnings. This week and next week will probably be the last two big weeks. And then I'll probably stop doing this series um, until the next earnings season. Uh, but I do like, enjoy, I do enjoy making these little videos and talk about loads of little companies very quick. Um, so yeah. Um, those are some of the big ones for next week obviously there's a few big ones that I will be keeping an eye on uh, and see how they go but yeah overall uh, let me know if there's any companies here that you are really keeping an eye on um, I will try and make a DraftKings video tomorrow and then after that I'll um, probably let you guys uh, decide what your video you want to see again after that I'll probably need to do my uh, US um, stock market portfolio review and I've actually just realised I've actually not done my um, uh, UK, uh, sorry, I've done my UK portfolio, I've not done my US portfolio review, and I've not done the free stocks to buy series yet this month either, so maybe I should probably get around to doing that, but yeah, we're just it's just coming, tight. it's such big timing with these earnings seasons, so yeah, I'll do DraftKings, and then I'll leave you guys to maybe select the next video after that one on Wednesday, um, and then obviously we might have something to talk about Tattoo Chef by then, but we'll see what happens, but yeah, another big week, um, let me know what you're looking out for, but I hope you enjoyed the little uh, week ahead of that's going to happen uh, and if you could smash the like button if you're new subscribe uh, let's try to get to 10,000 subscribers this week as well uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next one